In my work, I use a lot of different connectors to put things together. I don't use the jump ring to connect one piece to another. I use them only when I have to. I use them to connect my connectors together if I have to. I like things to be a little more interesting. So I'm going to show you how to make three connectors that all are versatile and you can use them in different ways. I'm going to start with a piece of 18 gauge wire and I'm going to make all three of them out of this piece of one piece of 18 gauge wire. Now I can make these as long as I like, it really doesn't matter. I like to add a little bit of material that I can always cut off. So I'm going to make this one about an inch and a half long and it's, it's so simple. I'm going to go about halfway up, somewhere around halfway up, and I'm just going to double it back on to itself. Just like that. I'm basically making a cotter pin. I'll now take my pliers and I'll go up here to the top. Not all the way to the top. I want to create an eye. So I drop down and I squeeze them together. A little bit closer. Just about like that. So I have a cotter pin. Right? Everybody can see that. I'm going to put this one aside. Because I, use, I, I use, make these all the time together. Now I'm going to take my piece of wire for this one and I'm just going to come back about three quarters of an inch or longer, shorter, whatever. And I'm going to make, I'm going to do the same thing this way. My loop's going to be a little bit bigger. I'm not going to squeeze too hard. And I'm going to go past it and then come back. And I'm going to snip it. So now I've got these two. I'll do these two first. I'm going to take a piece of lightweight tubing. Then I'm going to come in here with some medium wall tubing and I'm going to cut two eighth inch pieces. One, two, four off this one. This is the kind of stuff that's going to set your work apart. We'll start with my overhand. Now I got this, I got this little idea, I was at an art show one time and there was this woman there making pots. And this is strictly a little clay that was run out of a pug mill just a little round piece of clay that she would just attach to the lid of a pot. You've seen it everywhere. I just did a variation on it. I take that now that it's bent and I put a piece of tubing on one end. I take another piece of tubing and I put it on the other end. I spread them out to where I like them and I lay them on the charcoal block. With this one, my cotter pin, I take a piece of the other tubing which is a little bit bigger and I slide the entire piece down inside so that it looks like a cotter pin. This is the beautiful part of it. You just take your fingers, grasp it like this, and pull it apart. So now you have a very maritime what you would see on board a ship. You have the end of a halyard. You have the end of a piece of cable with a big, nice, you know, piece of gusset holding it together. So this is another thing. When I was on board ships, one day I took, a, I took the block and tackle. It was called a, a, a two-fold purchase. And I was out there on the deck with it one day, and I decided, you know, I think that'd make a nice looking pendant. So I took the entire thing apart. Well, the bosun came running up there on deck, screaming and yelling, what the hell are you doing? I said, well, I just wanted to see how it worked, bosun. So he helped me put it all back together, you know. So I had to put the whole thing back together, and he was shaking his head, you know. So I made the bosun a little two-fold purchase, which is the, the pulley that you see on sailboats and ships, and I gave it to him. And the wheels inside actually turned. And he, he, he looked at it. 
He said, I've never seen anything like this before. He says, what's this for? And I said, hey, this is for you. You know, I might want to take one apart again. And he says, you see one JC out there that you need? You see anything on this ship that you need to take apart? You go ahead and do it. So that was, that was uh, just one of the ways that I got to be friends with the bosun. And uh, going to sea and working on those ships just gave me so many ideas because everything on a ship is a connection. Everything is there for a purpose.